Well, Frankie, it's good to see you again after last season. And Julia, I was at the opening night last night for Into the Woods and you were incredible. Oh my God, thank you so much. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> yes, congrats on your Broadway debut, girl. You killed it. Thank you. Wow. Kristen here and we are chatting with Frankie Rodriguez and Julia Lester about where their characters are going into season three of High School Musical, the musical, the series, and what some of their favorite songs are. I hope you enjoy the conversation. We're on the third season. We're in a new location, like all new people are coming into play. Where could you, what could you tell us about where Carlos and Ashlyn are in this season? We pick up right where we left off from last year. So the school year ends and all these East High kids now are on summer break and they're all going to Camp Shallow Lake. And so we really get to see them in a brand new environment with some new faces and kind of see how they adapt to this new environment. He is in a place of really wanting to step into the spotlight. Um, he has his newfound confidence from last season being a, a lead character. And so he's hoping to carry on that into this next uh, new phase. Yeah, I think pretty similar to where Carlos is. I think we both had um, extreme growth in season two with being able to play Belle and Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. And, um, you know, that was extremely fulfilling for Ashlyn and really taught her a lot about herself. And so I'm really excited for fans to see, um, you know, where she goes after that and um, how she's going to grow beyond um, this newfound leading lady persona that she's taken on. Ashlyn, you know, goes from playing, you know, Belle, this ingenue, this lead role, something that, you know, maybe she didn't necessarily know if she could do, kind of back into the ensemble. And that can be kind of hard to kind of go from the spotlight and kind of feeling like, wait, what just happened? Like, I want to continue being in the spotlight. So what was that like kind of tackling that experience? Yeah, it was really interesting. And I was definitely um, super excited for the challenge of um, taking on this, um, you know, this, this sort of newfound acceptance that she has to find within herself, because it took her a while to accept the fact that she was a leading lady. And maybe she accepted that a little bit too much. And she has to remember who she was before Miss Jen cast her as Belle. And so she's definitely put to the test um, with the, uh, with the news that she's going to be in the ensemble again. And something that's, that I love is when Gina points out that it's kind of out of character for her. So she's got to sort of have to retrace her steps and remember who she was before she was given the opportunity to be Belle. And now with Carlos, he's taken on the role of Olaf, which is really exciting. So two-parter, what was that like taking on that role? And also, you know, there's that little scene where you're trying to recast the show what were you trying to, who were you trying to put where? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, well, the, fir for the first part of that question, I'm very exciting. Um, obviously, uh, getting to play Olaf, he's such like a beloved snowman. Um, and so getting to step into those shoes and kind of like figure out ways to like make it my own. And what does it sound like on my voice? And what does it feel like in my body? Um, and getting to see what we did with our costume is really fun and funny. Um, and then, um, you know, Carlos... It was just trying, just trying new things. He wanted to see if something was going to work. It clearly didn't. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I think Carlos sees himself as like a strong, strapping, leading man. So I would think he kind of made himself Kristoff or something. And um, they were like, no. <laughs> and now you guys are singing original songs, songs from Frozen, Camp Rock, High School Musical. What was your favorite song this season? I loved our road trip medley. That was super fun to film. Um, we got to hang out in the backseat of a real car and be driven around the canyon. And we really were jamming out and it was really fun. And we have a lot of videos of us just losing our minds and laughing because we were like squished together for hours on end. And we were like, we could never actually do a real road trip together or we would need like a huge car at least. But um, it was it was really fun to portray that. It was a super good time. Yeah, definitely that one's my favorite or It's On is also a good fun one. Um, I love any of like the dance numbers that are going to be like, and we have a lot of them this season, so that's fun. And just to wrap things up, looking ahead, the show's already been picked up for a fourth season. What's a song that you would love your character to sing in the future? Can I Have This Dance from High School Musical 3? Oh, I love that. I love when we get to introduce 
uh, new originals to the show. So um, I'm hoping that there will be more originals in season four and maybe lots more like duets and trios and group numbers that are original. It's super fun. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, great to chat with you again. And, um, you know, congrats. An amazing season. Amazing season. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!